iconic track if you're in California. The cool thing about the technologies we've created is we can generate a new design, create it, and then take it out on the track and bash it and hopefully have something much cooler. This is something that is years in the making. It's about eight inches wider. We've switched over our battery cells to an F1 battery cell. So the arrow is now 3.5 to one. So this is like a real GT3 car plus in terms of being glued to the track. This is an American car company designed in LA and we manufacture it, we assemble it, we test it, all coming out of California. The overall goal is to hunt track records, absolutely. And the current record hold around here is the McLaren Senna, the 127.6. On paper, I think we've got the right ingredients. We've just got to get the recipe right now to get them all to work together. Really, this process started out with what do our targets need to be, what are the requirements of the vehicle in order to challenge that lap time. We knew what we had with the previous car, we started to kind of conceptualise and then we effectively run laps on the computer. So we create a model of the car and basically ask questions of the simulator. So if we increase the downforce, what does that translate into in terms of lap time, if we improve the power, you know, grip. So we've done a really extensive CFD-based aerodynamic development, way over double the downforce that the car makes. We've had an opportunity to redesign all of the suspension. And then from a mechanical side, the main thing there is the MGU drive. We've moved to a gear drive now. The main focus today is the powertrain. We've brought on a new powertrain engineer who's joined us from Mercedes F1. He's really getting into the nitty-gritty of the combustion engine, the boost control, the kind of ignition cuts for the gear shifts and things like that. Well, obviously, breaking a record, you never go into it thinking it's going to be easy. It's got a pretty complex architecture, internal combustion engine working alongside pretty complicated EV system. Part of my responsibilities is really to work with the engine calibration and making sure that our boost is not only meeting target, fueling correctly, the driver requesting torque out of the corner, so it's a tenth here, a tenth there, and these things make a difference. On paper, we have a lot of confidence that this car can perform. 30, 30.2, which is 2.6 off the record. I'm 65, 70% so far. That's a good indication right there. In addition, you know, we've got Joel with us, obviously the driver today. He's great in terms of real, you know, crystal clear feedback. Helps us to kind of understand where to focus our attentions, where the gains are going to come from. Good acceleration, I would say, out of the corner. I'm getting it, turning right into more load. I'm not combining yeah. turning to the right. I'm ready to go. Set of 127 before. We'll see what the loggers say. <laughs> 27 4 on the data! 27 <laughs> Back at the track, it's such a big improvement from the last time out being able to use MGU with the ICE engine and just how those are linked together. It's very impressive when we're on the deploy mode and just feeling the power that's behind the car now. Prototypes do this track in the teens. For this car to be just, call it, less than 10 seconds off of a prototype is quite special. So proud of this team. To be able to create technology, create vehicles like this, just that in and of itself is one of the most fulfilling things that you can find in life. Cleveland, the youngest of five in a very working class family with two older brothers who were car mechanics and started working on cars when I was probably four or five years old and reading about California, Hot Rod Magazine and Motor Trend and Car Craft and about this track and about Can-Am and to see this happen is completely mind-blowing because, you know, it takes me back to being an eight-year-old 
laying in bed thinking about California as some far, far away dreamland, and, and you see this actually happen. This is the first of many, many, many dominating performances we're gonna have.